Good evening. At this time, please join our soon-to-be inducted members of the National Junior Honor Society and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the singing of the National Anthem. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled Members of the faculty, students, Dr. Zinni, Dr. Kosiolik, Mr. Crockett, Mrs. Paymaster, our faculty advisors, Mrs. Sandowski and Mrs. Bartomeleo, and most importantly, our parents who have provided these young adults with such strong emphasis on academia. Welcome to our Hickory Creek Middle School National Junior Honor Society induction. We are gathered here tonight to formally recognize the students who have been selected by the faculty of our school for having successfully completed their candidacy and are being inducted as new members to our NJHS chapter. It has been my pleasure to work with the advisors and the current NJHS officers to support the unique, this unique induction ceremony. Although many things in our lives have been changed and turned upside down the past 14 months, I am extremely proud of the HCMS can-do spirit. The students who are being recognized tonight have earned the privilege to be celebrated, and although we are unable to do it in person, we hope that you find this virtual ceremony just as rewarding. At this time, I would like to introduce Dr. Larry Kosiolik, who will be representing the 157C School Board. Congratu congratulations to all of you on your nomination to the Hickory Creek National Junior Honor Society. My name is Larry Kosiolik and I am here representing the 157C Board of Education. Your induction into NJHS is an incredible honor and you all should be very proud. I would like each of you to reflect on why you were chosen for NJHS and what this honor and responsibility means. NJHS is not just about getting good grades and being a good student, although I'm confident that all of you are. NJHS is not about being a gifted athlete or an artist or a musician, although I'm sure, again, many of you are. Rather, NJHS is about being a leader. You've all been identified as individuals with tremendous leadership qualities. You may be thinking, I'm not even done with junior high yet. How is it that I can be a leader? Well, being a leader really has nothing to do with age. It has nothing to do with being in an elected position or, or having a title. Quite simply, being a leader is about being a person who others want to follow. So how do you be a person that others want to follow? Being a good leader is being kind. It's treating others with respect, building up others around you. It's being aware of your strengths and using them for the greater good, but also knowing your challenges and weaknesses and, and making efforts to improve upon them. Being a leader is being a strong advocate for your community and for those less fortunate than you. Being a leader is always putting forth your best effort in everything you do. And finally, being a leader is always maintaining strong character and a strong moral compass. As you look ahead, your generation has unprecedented challenges. We're gonna need good leaders to face those head on. 
So as you reflect on your induction today to NJHS, please realize you all have the skills necessary to tackle these challenges. On behalf of the 157C Board of Education, we look forward to your ongoing contributions to your school and your communities. Thanks and congratulations. At this time, I would like to introduce Rachel Bacon, NJHS Hickory Creek Chapter President. The Hickory Creek Middle School National Junior Honor Society Chapter is proud to, once again during this 2020-2021 school year, be inducting new members. The addition of these 81 inductees indicates the continuing emphasis of excellence that we represent to our school and community. These individuals serve as role models for other students. In addition to the strong academic records which establish eligibility for membership, our chapter members are leaders in many student organizations, including sports, school clubs, band, and chorus, as well as serve our community and school district. We are proud of this record of accomplishment and welcome our new members to the National Junior Honor Society. It is at this time that we proclaim to all in attendance that the membership in Hickory Creek Middle School Chapter of National Junior Honor Society has been earned by these candidates through the effective demonstration of the five qualities that serve as standards for our society. Our current officers will review these qualities for the candidates. Now presenting the pillar of scholarship will be Peyton Comer while Macy Phillips lights the scholarship candle. Scholarship denotes a commitment to learning a student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for human education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life, which leads to the highest success, and it could be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past, the torch guiding us to understand the present and the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Caitlin Skopek will now be presenting the pillar of service while Julia Alexander lights the service candle. The next quality is service. Service can be established in the routine of the day's work where many opportunities arise to help others both at school and in the community. A willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or public recognition is the quality we seek in our membership and promote for the entire student body. We are committed to volunteering our time and talents to the creation of a better tomorrow. Our next pillar is leadership, and it will be presented by Ali Kostick and Macy Phillips. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking initiative in the classroom and in school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to reach their common goals of success. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one personal, one's personal interest for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a school, community, or nation, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed, thus to lead is a meaningful and substantive charge to each of our members. The Pillar of Character will be presented by Kaylee Johnson and Lauren O'Connor. Character is the force within each individual that distinguishes one person from others. It gives each of us our individuality. It is that without which no one can respect oneself nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is that force of character that guides one through life and once developed grows steadily. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant action and striving daily to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. Demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character.
The final pillar is citizenship and will be presented by Addison Guest and Gabby Sukatos. I represent citizenship, the obligations each member of our society faces to live up to the democratic ideals given to us by the founders of our country. The responsibilities each of us has to our home and community, our state, our nation, and our world are many. As good citizens, we are bound to live up to the laws and guidelines which unite us as a civilized society. Good citizens work together to improve not only our lives, but the lives of all of our fellow citizens. Good citizenship requires that we remain strong and vigilant in protecting the freedoms and rights that we have been granted to us and in preventing injustice from entering our lives. We, the members of the chapter, are called to live up to the high standards of citizenship from this day forward. At this time, will the inductees please stand? Raise your right hand and repeat the pledge. I pledge to uphold the high purposes of the National Junior Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands and will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, character, and citizenship. We will now recognize our 81 new 6th and 7th grade inductees. Eliana Elmusa. Zachary Ancarlo. Sophia Arcos. Audrey Barrett. Colin Bettenhausen. Caitlin Boender. Heidi Borchard. Cadence Callahan. Joseph Clementi. Andrew Creech. Emily Creech. Johanna DeFrank. Caitlin Dykstra. Nia Evans. Ava Feigl. Grace Frankovich, Andrew Harper, Benjamin Hayward, Charlotte Hickling, Darren Hill, Conrad Hogan, Grace Caden. Josephine Kawa. Lila Kemmerer. Grayson Kosiola. James Kramer. Paul Crone. Elizabeth Labuda. Elida Ladir. Colton Latham. Emerson Lebeau. Samuel Lee. Noah Lehman. Aaron McCurry. Kaylee McCauley. Mia McGregor. Mia Minecombe. Brewer Metchke. 
Grace Murphy, Cameron Nass, Caitlin Nass, Sarah O'Connor, Paige Osborne, Antonio Owens, Cameron Paris, Meha Patel, Carson Petro, Cole Phillips, Mia Phillips, Jackson Plutes, Grace Radigan, Andrew Richter, Cameron Riando, Tyler Roderick, Emily Rudolph, Ian Ruder, Amber Seldock, Addison Swatsky, Morgan Sazima, Nathaniel Chance, Ashley Shun, Nathan Shores, Nathan Searing. Sophia Schuster, Jonathan Skopek, Mason Spencer, Ethan Sabrawa, Isabella Stanick, Aaron Stoffaker. Elena Steele, Braden Swike, Case Templin, Ronan Tracy, Reese Valick, Madeline Valerius. Ava Venable, Abigail Wagner, Kara Walsh, Sophia White, Eleni Zanitas. Colton Zvonar. And now, please welcome our superintendent, Dr. Mora Sinni. It is truly an honor to be a part of this virtual ceremony to induct 81 of Hickory Creek Middle School's sixth and seventh graders as members of NJHS. Inductees, you are being honored because you have demonstrated excellence in the areas of scholarship, service, leadership, character, and citizenship. These characteristics have been associated with membership in the organization since its beginning in 1929. This is much more than an honor roll, a merit award, or recognition for a job well done. This is a lifelong membership to this esteemed organization of young people who choose to say, yes, I can, even when you're not sure. You have learned the importance of asking good questions and being creative in finding solutions to life's challenges. You know the importance of not quitting and fulfilling your commitments. And probably most important, you know it is okay 
to make mistakes because you view these setbacks as opportunities to learn and grow. This initiation today sets you apart from your peers because of your innate drive to excel in the classroom, on the athletic field, on the stage, in the hallways, in the lunchroom, at home in your virtual classroom, and in your community. You share the belief that a few passionate individuals can inspire many. You are selfless leaders who give service to others without worrying about what you will receive in return or who will notice. You have the mature ability to recognize right from wrong, action from inaction, and advocacy from popularity. I am certain that your path to lifelong success will be filled with many accomplishments, beginning with this one today. I also want to congratulate our parents and families. Your continuous support, willingness to allow these young people to think for themselves, and serving as their guide on the side has paid off. These are remarkable young people. Once again, students, congratulations on acceptance into this prestigious organization. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Zinni, for your comments and continued support of our chapter, as well as our school board members represented tonight by Dr. Kosiolik. I would like to thank our faculty advisors, Mrs. Sandowski and Mrs. Bartomeleo, for organizing this induction ceremony. I would also like to thank Mr. Kevin Del Grasso for producing this video for our inductees. Thank you all for viewing our ceremony tonight. At this time, please join me in applauding the newest inductees to the NJHS Hickory Creek Chapter. <laughs>